Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am here with Angus Bacala. He's the CEO founder of, of Alster. In Los Angeles, we interviewed Innovies, a company from Israel, and they had a LiDAR, mm -hmm. probably a little bit bigger than the one I was holding, mm -hmm. but it showed video of people that were moving, but mm -hmm. they did it in more color. Mm -hmm. I came here and I looked at this, and yours is more brilliant, more focused. Mm -hmm. How did you do that? So, uh, And it's smaller, by the way. Well, <laughs> sure. So I think... Focusing on the, the physical aspect, aspects of the sensor is important, so it is small, compact LiDAR. Right. Um, uh, but in terms of the visuals, um, how we're displaying the information, uh, that, that's more of a software choice. So, you know, I, I don't know what their display is particularly, but um, what we're displaying is, is really high quality, stable imagery from our sensor. Um, now, this is the actual LiDAR. This is the actual LiDAR, and, and you can see it operating behind it. The, and it's for sale now. It is for sale right now, yeah. How, how much is it? It's twelve thousand dollars. And we have a research pricing if you're a nonprofit research institution, we want to support you and it's eight thousand dollars. So how many OEMs are you working with? Um, a, a number. So this is a kind of a key enabling technology for advanced ADAS and for self-driving cars. And Absolutely. So so basically every single company that is involved in that space is interested and is working with us. You have venture capitalists? We do. Who are they? Yeah, we, we just announced a Series A round, uh, $27 million, and Cox Enterprise led the round. Oh, nice. Okay. So I'm very interested in this just because of the size, mm -hmm. and I've seen things where they're, uh, you can actually put them in the light itself. Mm -hmm. This would fit in the back of the light and, and be able to work? Exactly. So you could put it uh, in a light cluster or a side view mirror. Um, you could also put this... Uh, behind a, a vehicle windshield, we've really focused on making the device as small as possible from the get-go, um, uh, so that it can be be placed in a lot of different vehicle, a lot of different positions on a vehicle, and also it's applicable for some other applications like drones, where it's small and lightweight um, design. It allows for smaller type flying. Well, this is just lovely. You're in San Francisco. We are. Yeah. How long have you been around? We've been operating for two and a half years, but we, we've we've only come out of stealth about a month and a half ago. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, you'll be getting a lot more calls. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Angus. Thank you.